Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of the Pink Property Podcast. I'm here as ever with my co-host and fellow director, David Kirby here at Boy. David Lee. And we are outside the office today. Um, yeah, a nice sunny day um, outside our office here at headquarters. And um, this is the update for this week. Absolutely. So a bit of an update from this week. Um, plenty of demand still, lots and lots of demand. Uh, unfortunately, not quite as much supply. So we are relatively low on sales stock and letting stock at the moment, um, but with a massive demand. So anyone thinking of moving at the moment, I would say still a great time to do it. Um, Big issue for yeah. us this week, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. in both sales and letting side of the business, we're just, yeah. I don't know, are we historically low in terms of new stuff coming or does it just feel like that because we've been so busy for I think a I think a bit of each, now. it has been incredibly busy and January was probably abnormally busy for, yeah, uh, compared to usual. So maybe it's, yeah, February having a little bit of a lull um, after a very busy January. So yeah, that's so my sort of thoughts and feelings, certainly on a sales side of things. The new stock required, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So old school supply and demand. Yep. Yeah. Massive uh, demand, lack of supply. Um, so I'd say if you are thinking of moving at the moment and thinking of selling, this time is probably quite a good it's, time. At it's maintaining prices, isn't it? Because people are actively talking about this stamp duty thing and, and saying, oh, is the market going to drop? But yeah. I just can't see that that's going to be the case with the supply and demand imbalance yeah, as it absolutely. stands at the moment. Basic economy, <laughs> yeah. uh, economics, sorry, says, yeah, yeah, if uh, if demand's up and supply's down, then um, yeah, prices should stay strong. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So if you're thinking of moving, start doing it now. Now is the time, now yeah. is the time. And on the stamp duty thing, um, it, we obviously had some a little bit of a development this week, but not much, unfortunately. So the issue around extending the current stamp duty break was yep. discussed in Parliament on Monday, Monday. afternoon. Yep. Um, I think there was a general consensus that it is causing a bit of a backlog and the system is clogged up, slowing down transactions. So that sort of general agreement that they kind of need to do something, but I saw a figure this week and they're saying that the government could have missed out on £530 million pounds worth there of stamp go. duty receipts yeah. Yeah. already. And I think that's, that's something that they can't continue for no. a long period. No. So no. whether it's reformed or whether it's slightly extended because of the current lockdown, yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't think we are going to get to know until March the 3rd when Rishi releases his latest budget. Yep. Um, and that will give us a better, clearer understanding of what's going on mm. and answer so many of the questions that are coming at us at yep. the moment, which Absolutely. generally are all around the stamp, stamp duty. duty. Will it be extended? Yeah. I don't think it will. Yeah. There's my, that's what I'm going to put. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm unsure if they, they're going to do anything about it, to yeah. be honest. I really am. Um, but yeah, let, let's see what comes on March the 3rd. Absolutely. In other news this week, yeah. Um, yeah, we've had um, one of our newest associates come up to yeah. the office to do some photographs and a bit of the onboarding process that we do for each of our new associates. And Navir is starting with us probably back end of this month in February and is a Walthamstow expert. Yes. Um, E17 in London, really busy, buzzy little place. Yeah. There's lots going on there. There's been lots of new developments over the past couple of years. And Navir's worked at one of the market leading agents there for the past eight years, um, knows the area superbly well, and he's super keen to get going and get involved. Yeah. So yeah, he popped up and met all of the team a bit more this week. So it was lovely to have him in and uh, really fo looking forward to, to getting yeah. him launched into the market. It's exciting. We get a lot of movement from buyers coming up towards the farm for me they London. Do, yeah. So that Walthamstow area, um, moving up the M11, moving up the train line through Craig at Harlow yeah. up to us at yeah. HQ. Yeah. So, um, it's quite a migration pattern, absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. So I think we should be able to, yeah, do a lot of business with Navir. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, exciting to see him grow um, under the David Lee banner. Yeah, so, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. So we've had a good chat this week with Kevin Ellis. He's the director of the Land and New Homes Network that we're part of uh, here. We cover the uh, East Hertfordshire, West Essex region for the Land and New Homes uh, group. And they give us lots of content and the capability to help 
uh, with your land purchase um, and your resale of your stock. Um, so yeah, really exciting. Um, something we're gonna develop further. Yeah, I mean, it's just a growing space for us. We've mm. had some real good success um, over the past couple of years as we've built out the land and new yeah. homes division of our business with the with the help of the network um, and we've had some real good success stories yep. um, we've just recently completed on the final unit of a, of an eight unit scheme um, yep. in Mole Hill Green um, with great developer CJ New Homes worked really well together in, in developing a good product we were involved yeah. in the initial sale of the land to them um, and then we helped with a development consultancy right the way through the process advising them on layouts designs some minor alterations inside yeah. that just created a lovely a lovely home yeah. and they built these great quality three bedroom semis and we've we've sold all eight of them in the first two months of this year yep yeah. so um it yeah that went really really well um it was a really positive sort of s development that we saw right through the process yeah um and we've got many other developers that are keen to do more work like that with us so yeah we are actively farming the data at the moment to talk to people that are going through the planning process and that have been successful with plots to sell. Yep. Um, and we've got developers that are talking to us about schemes that they're in the process of building um, yeah. that we can assist on with the marketing. Um, yep. And I, I know you talk about the marketing. Yeah, absolutely. We do. Yeah, so it's been um, yeah great that we can start from the beginning, help you out as a developer if you're looking to sell your units or your site. Um, but get us in early is something we always sort of suggest and recommend. We're live on the street all the time, knowing what people are buying, what they're not buying, mm -hmm. um, and what sells best. And actually, you're right. Um, the, the information and the work we did with James at his uh, latest development uh, locally didn't have to change a lot, did he? No, not, not a lot, lot. but a couple of little tweaks. Um, and it just meant he sold out and they yeah. sold really quickly. He's now off site um, and it was a very, very good development for him. So on to the next yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Get in early. We see some developers build the wrong things, um, put walls in the wrong places, mm. have the wrong design inside. Just get into us early and we'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a, a, a real, a real need and a real drive for us to keep pushing that forward. We've got some great um, planning policy documents coming out and some real deep research that we've done on the area um, over the past month and a half. Um, and we'd love to share that with you. So if you're in the space, if you're a builder, developer, planner or architect, and um, yeah. we'd love to connect with you and have you as part of our network of people that we refer to and talk to. And of course, we will share this information and these really helpful reports with you as soon as they're available. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're a developer actively looking in the market and you wanna do business this year, make sure we know what you're looking for. Yes. Um, please let us know, give us your spec, what are you looking for, where does it need to be, number of units, and we can make sure that we're talking mm -hmm. to you about each and every opportunity that, that comes Absolutely. our way. Um, and we can put it in your direction. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's it for today. Absolutely. <laughs> Little walk with us um, up and down the driveway here that we do pretty much every day. I think everybody in the office is out and about walking at the moment. Um, but no, lovely chance to, to get outside while the weather breaks. And um, hope you guys all have a, a great Sunday. And yeah. uh, thanks as ever for tuning in. Yeah, have a good day. We'll see you next week.